Hi, my name is Corey Smith, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Turnigy 9X for a quadcopter using the ER9X firmware. The main thing that I'm going to be showing you how to set up is the three position switch. So before we get started, I just want to mention that this button right here is the select and this is the back button. And then these are the directional buttons for doing things like changing values and moving up and down. So when you first press the select button, that will go to the main menu system. There's 10 pages on here and each page basically has a specific set of options. So this first page is the model select page. Here you can select, duplicate, erase, and create new models. If you didn't know, a model is basically a file that you create on your transmitter that has all of the settings for your aircraft. So the first thing that I'm going to do is scroll down until I find an empty space and then I'm going to hit the right D-pad. And what that'll do is actually create a new model and then bring you to the second page where you can find all of the basic model settings. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and name your model, but I'm not going to do that right now. So now I'm going to really quickly go over the other pages. You already know the first one is model select, then setup, then helicopter setup, expo and dual rates, mixer settings, limits, curves, custom switches, safety switches, and templates. Now I know all of that sounds like a lot of stuff to learn, but it doesn't really matter because all you need to know about right now is the mixer. The mixer in its most basic form is what assigns every single little control to a specific channel. So for example, channel one is rudder, channel two is elevator, channel three is aileron, and channel four is throttle. So if I wanted to, I could easily change it so that throttle could be channel one, or aileron could be channel two. I could do whatever I want here. So that's what the mixer is actually for. So if you look closely, there's a little line right there, and that means that I'm creating a new mix. If you see highlighted numbers, then that means you're editing the current mix. So what I'm gonna do is scroll down to channel five, and then press the select button. What that will do is actually create a new mix so that I can set up one of the positions on the three position switch. After that, I'm going to scroll down to where it says switch and then change that to ID0. ID0 is the name of the first position on your three position switch. Now I'm gonna go up to source and change that to full. Now what full does is basically instead of taking one of the inputs from the control sticks or the knobs, it gets its value from this other setting called weight. I'll go over that a little bit more later, but for now we just need to exit out of here so that we can set up the other positions on the three position switch. So now we're gonna add another mix on channel five. We're gonna change the source to full again. And then we're gonna change switch to ID one. Then we're gonna add another mix on channel five, change it to full also, and then change switch to ID two. So now we have all of our mixes created and we can move on to giving them values, which is what the weight setting is for. So for the first mix, I'm gonna set the weight value to a negative 100%. The next mix should be set to zero. And then the final mix should be left at 100%. And so now what this means is that ID zero, one, and two have the values of negative 100, zero, and 100. So to make sure that it's set up correctly, I'm gonna exit out of the mixer page, and now we're back at the main home screen. And if I move the three position switch, you should see a bar that changes in direction. That bar is indicating that channel five is going from negative 100 to zero to 100. If you don't see these bars on the home screen, all you have to do is move up and down using the D-pad until you find it. The last thing that we're gonna do is go back into the mixer settings and add a new mix on channel six and then we're gonna change the source to P3, which stands for potentiometer three. For this mix, since we're using a potentiometer, we actually don't have to touch the weight or switch setting. So now if I exit back to the home screen and then move the knob, you can clearly see channel six moving just like you could with channel five. So like always, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment in this video or you can contact me directly at myfirstdrone.com. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in another video.